Hello, fellow alchemists. Welcome back. Uh, I wanted to go over something quite interesting over here. Um, with these kind of template things, there's actually a way that you can embed uh, data within there. So that's what I want to go over today. Uh, it's quite cool and it's good to kind of understand how it all works. So I'm just going to make like a render list um, kind of component function. And of course you have to have a slash at the beginning because you're actually ending it. As you see over here, I have a little bit of an issue with this. I hope that soon this plugin will be updated for this kind of template. But you can see that this one's fine, except for it doesn't know what render list is. So within my original component, I'm going to define a render list. Put my signs in here. And of course, go back to adding my sigil. And so the way this works is, of course, you have to you have the UL. And then I can define this in here. And to actually render the data that's going to be inside of there, you have to use a render block function. And then you have to insert the inner content. Of course, you actually have to end the tag properly. And maybe I did that one wrong. Sorry, render block with inner block at fault. Inner content, I believe, is from something else. So render block, and you have to add inner block, and you're going to get the inner block, of course. And so, for instance, if I go back to my template, and I say, hello, we'll get that over here. And if I go back to here, there's my hello. Now, the tricky part is, if I want to add another one in here, say hi, that doesn't quite work. So what you can do is that there's a way that you can actually iterate through a list that you give it. Uh, I still need to spend some more time in digging through exactly how this thing works, but what I know for sure is that you can give it a list. So I could say items. And of course, in here, I'm just going to pass in just a raw list. So we can say hello and a hi. And then I need to actually kind of set this variable. So there's this let. Um, it should be let and then an item in here. It's kind of like setting a variable. And then what I could do is I'll just say just output. Sorry, just output item. And once I save that, uh, it's probably not going to be super clear because nothing's actually going on, right? So there's nothing being done within the template. So I actually have to go back to my component and actually set that, right? So I need to go in here and say for item in at items and then do and then of course take this in and then finally of course end it. And then finally I need to actually output my item. Sorry, not in. I think I've been doing too much Python recently. Now we should be back in business. And there we go. And of course, I can go back to my template and I could say, you know, instead of just rendering like this, I could say, let's add strong to it just so it's bolded in that case. So now if I go back, bolded. So it's pretty cool. Um, I quite like this idea. Uh, I was looking at, there is another way you have to do with forms and we'll probably go over that in a future episode. Uh, but in this case, you know, you can see that you can really start to do some quite more uh, interesting kind of, uh, I guess almost like a, um, hmm, like more interesting components and maybe some kind of DSL, like a mini DSL with this kind of uh, setup. So this is all pretty cool. Uh, so far, I'm really liking this. I like this kind of style and I like that you can use this across. 
And so I'm pretty happy, like I said. So this is how you can use uh, render block to actually insert kind of dynamic data. And you can, in this case, iterate over a list of items and just output uh, an item and kind of be very specific in that context, how you output things. So again, this is Anna from Plangora. Please subscribe if you haven't. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.